Hi folks. Today we're going to have a wee conversation about how to plan your learning session for tertiary education in the context of medical and health sciences education. I've noticed a couple of things that have served me really well in terms of optimising interaction in the classroom environment and also optimising learning. If you are getting your students to learn new material, there are some things that you can get them to do, which are a little bit different from things you would get students to do if you wanted them to recall or embed or um, get to the next level in their learning. So let's start with new material. When you're giving your learners new material, you want to optimize their capacity to retain the information. And we know that we need people to um, learn as much as they can within a sort of 10 minute. You've got 10 minutes, that's your sweet spot, uh, before they start waning. Every 10 minutes, shake it up. Get your learners to be doing something different. If you can, get them to stand up or to move. Um, if they were listening for the last 10 minutes, get them to be talking for the next 10 minutes. If they were doing a skill for 10 minutes, then get them to um, be digesting the information that they have learned from doing that skill, right? Get them to do some critical reflection or a discussion or a team activity. You can assess the learning that's going on in informal ways throughout your session by getting people to explain back concepts or material. So a great way of getting people to learn stuff for the first time when you're first giving them information I've found is to actually get them to work in small groups of three or four or even five people to a group, get them to synthesize a bit of information and then present it back to the rest of the class, right? This is quite an efficient way of getting a lot of different information out there to the class and then getting the learners to absorb just a part of it and be responsible for informing their peers the important nuggets in here. That way you know that they have definitely um, learned at a deeper level this core information and they might not have learned all the other stuff from the other little nuggets but um, they will get the important things from their peers and the they are likely to listen to their peers and to take that on board because they know what the stakes are in terms of their own learning material. So that can be a really useful thing to do. Other activities that can be useful involve a whiteboard, getting a discussion going, getting a um, brainstorm. You can use post-it notes, getting people to write things on post-it notes and then putting the post-it notes up on the board and then having to select someone else's post-it note with a provocation on it. You could use post-it notes as a form of communication and tell your learners that they are not allowed to speak to each other, that they can only use the post-it notes and you can do things like this to um, optimize their engagement and the learning. If your learners are doing revision and they've already taken on information and perhaps this is a final session or a wrap-up session in a series of classes, you can do activities that get the learners to do more synthesis of the material and I would recommend having more of a focus on reflection, right? Like getting your learners to reflect on what it is that they've learned over the course of several sessions that they want to take with them into their future practice as clinicians. What's that core learning? What are concepts that they've taken on board or threshold concepts? Um, getting them to notice the knowledge that they have now that they did not have at the beginning of the course or the 
things that they've picked up along the way that were perhaps novel to them or unexpected. Um, they might have a newfound sense of professionalism in the context of um, uh, cadaver learning, or it could be something, you know, unexpected. So it's really a great opportunity in those final sessions of a course to get your learners to synthesize information, to reflect on information and synthesize their learning. And they can do this through peer conversations or small group conversations. Um, again, I would get them to get up and move around and make the most of those 10 minute frames so that you can maximize their embedded learning. Mm -hmm.